so this is the morning after I treated it with this spa purge. Poured in the whole bottle. It tells you on the back what to do. And then I just got up and put the, oh, I'm supposed to go this way, so my daughter says to hold the phone horizontally. <laughs> so anyway, um, I just pressed the jets and um, look, it's foaming again. So I think you're supposed to do this when you first get up, after you let it sit all night, you just run it for a couple of minutes and then we'll be ready to, look at that foam, we'll be ready to uh, start cleaning it. What I'm doing is to make it easier, I got a mop with vinegar and water and uh, I'm gonna try washing the jets with it if I can't reach them so I don't have to go in the tub to clean it. I don't feel like doing a whole immersion. But, um, so I'll just stop it now. But look at that, I mean, it's back to that bunch of foam again. Then what we do is take this side piece off that we never bolted back, as you can see. supposed to bolt it back in but we didn't so it'll be easy to slide off and then attach the hose to it and drain it so I'll continue this video as I go my daughter said there's a way you can edit the videos together so it makes it easier okay okay here's where my husband takes the oh I gotta go this way takes the thing off the shell opening okay and then <coughs> and there's your mechanism in there by the way your motor all of that and now he's trying to find the hose and enlarge this there it is there's your hose and that other hose I guess to attach right or, yeah. Yeah. okay so I'll shut this off and then edit the rest of the procedure but here's the inside in case you didn't see that there's the ozonator that box I believe right there should be the ozonator yeah that's how you know you have one some of them don't the premium does but I don't think the uh, what's the other one called deluxe over there so now, guess what he did? What did you just do? There was a cap. Oh, you had the hose right there? You put it here yesterday. Oh, okay. Because you said. So you there you go. It. You just attach the garden hose. Uh oh, leaking. Uh oh, not oh, good. So what should we do? <laughs> I don't know. Uh oh. Is there a valve that shuts off the water? Probably. I know, but it's not open. You, would you get a towel? Okay, 911, we'll get you back in a this minute. This connection here, the black one, to the hose itself wasn't tight. Oh, okay. So, so that's why it leaked a little? Yeah, okay. we'll find out for sure. Yeah, I don't think it's... Okay. Be careful because there's water yeah, yeah. right there. Okay, you want me to get you another towel? Stay here. It's right there. That, that, that was useless. We only need a... Oh, it did it really... Yeah, it really... <laughs> Oops. So anyway, there's the inside in case you get know. So this gets hooked up to the garden hose. And then what do you do? Open up that valve and then it'll drain? Well, first of all, I gotta get the hose out the, the door, right? If you open it up, no, the hose coming right in. No, I'm saying, how do you get it to start siphoning? I'll show you. Oh, okay. Right there's a valve. And have to keep the door open. A little valve on the hose that comes out of the hot tub. Oh, don't put it too close to my flowers and stuff. <laughs> my plants. Because you don't know what's in that stuff. You know, the chemicals and all. But I mean, the foam is unbelievable how it just foams up like that. It's weird. 
it's like a peroxide chemical reaction <laughs> to nastiness. Okay, so now he's going to do something. Open it. Open the valve and see if the water's coming out. Is it? Yeah. Okay, good. So it's going to take a couple of hours to drain, they said. I don't want to do a sump pump. I don't think we need all that. And then the excess water will pick up with the shop back, and then I'll start cleaning it. So I'll keep you all filled in. This is 20 minutes into the draining, and you can see it's gone down pretty much in 20 minutes. I don't think it's going to take two hours. It might take an hour. But 20 minutes in, and uh, yeah, I would say a third. See the uh, motor's off, we pulled the plug. That's the main thing to remember. And then I'll show you, these are the things you have to clean. This is the top that screws on to, the, to keep the filter in. Did the filter, and then the top to the waterfall, and then this here. There's like a skimmer too. Since we're not outside, we really don't have to worry much about that. But So those are the things you need to clean. And then next I'll be doing the cover with armor on. So I'll be back 40 minutes in. And I'd say it's about a half drained right now. So we're still, I'm still not gonna clean it until it's pretty much totally drained because I don't want that water hitting the clean water. So, and I just did the Amaral. Here's the stuff I used. You could get the wipes or the spray. I like the spray because all you do is spray and wipe. And I'll show you how nice the cover looks. And this really protects the cover too. You should do it. I didn't realize how dirty it was. I'm gonna have to clean it more than, uh, is that a reflection? Or? I'm gonna have to clean it more than once every couple of months because it got dirty. But see how nice and shiny it is now? So, and the cover's light. I mean, I can, I can actually move it around, right? I can, Fold it back, which I probably will now anyway, just so you saw. See? And these, I just showed you these are the things that you have to clean, right? Filter, top. Yeah, I showed you all that. If you have any questions, let me know. But it's 40 minutes in and half done, so I would say it's going to take about an hour to fully drain. Maybe a little more. And then I'll clean it and show you how it looks. Well, see, this is what happens when you're, you're new to the game here. So he tried to use the shot no back behind, shot back behind my back. 20 seconds. It filled up in 20 seconds and it went all over. <laughs> and I didn't think I would be mean enough to film it, but I'm going to. You better not fall. I'm try not oh to. Oh my gosh, so there's water everywhere. And uh, yeah, be careful when you use your shop vac because it will fill up in three seconds flat and the rest, it, you, if you don't shut it fast enough, this is what you get. I don't know if you can see the flood. Oh, all right. This right, I'm gonna add this because you don't want this to happen to you. It was even working. If you believe it, I did this all for nothing. Oh, anyway, this is two hours in, a little over two hours in. It's almost all empty now. I just used this mop that I got from Dollar Tree. So I did all the jets with it. I cleaned the whole the whole thing. The whole thing. And it looks good. It's no build up of anything and you know. Just did it did it all. And it looks nice and clean. So, you know, the mop really helps. You don't have to jump in the tub. I mean if it was real dirty I would, but I don't have to right now. Gonna do the oh, it's up to you if you don't think it's going to fill up and spill all over like the last time. <laughs>
And then we just kind of leave it like that so it's easy to get to. So we're going to try to put Velcro to close it. Oh, I got those little things there. But... All right, let me hit this one more time. That's it. Now we're going to clean it a little bit more and then fill it up. Okay, 40 minutes into it. 40 minutes is all it took to fill up. It's looking great. Done? Yep, it's done. Don't you see? It's above the... Yeah. Yeah. Once it's above that last one. I'll hold it. Okay. Close. That's it, guys. I put it in the filter, see? This way, I don't know, they just say it's a good idea. Hold it up because hold it up like that so you don't spill it all over. Or you can stop pulling through the window. You got the hose? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. So now he's gonna did he plug it in? Did you plug it in? No, I didn't. Okay. Look, it's nice and clean. Nice and clean. Really pretty. This is the Aquarius 600 Premium. See, the Elite doesn't have the um, oxygenator. What is it? Ox oxygenator? Ozonator. So, I'm going to just plug it in and then watch the panel go on. There it is. Now remember, what does it say? 60 degrees. Ooh, that's going to be cold. 59. 54. I mean, you know, hose water is going to be cold. So, and now. Remember, it takes seven minutes. See, it's programming. So in seven minutes, it'll kick on. Don't touch anything until it kicks on because you're gonna mess it up. It will come on, trust me. It just takes about seven minutes. Okay. I'm not even gonna put the light on or anything. Just let it program. That's what the PR means probably. Seven minutes. It's almost like exactly seven minutes the sucker goes on. So I'm not going to hold up the video like I did the last time just to make sure. <laughs> It'll go on. All right? That's how you clean a hot tub, guys. That's how you do it. This water sparkling clean. Freezing cold. <laughs> Which sounds refreshing because it's like 85, 90 degrees. We had to put the air conditioner on in here. We have a portable air conditioner right there behind my art supplies.